Like, I mean, we had all the comparisons to the 30, you know, 1930s biggest pullback, you know, snapback rally since 2832. But otherwise, we're in a bear market. Others say, no, it was the bottom. What say you? Yeah, right. It's a U-shape, V-shape. What is it? Um, and I think the safe answer has been U-shape. If you listen to most strategists right now, um, the big question isn't the magnitude's going to be bad. We know it's going to be bad. Every day the news is terrible. But the question is, how long does it take us to get back to work? And I think that's why the U-shape sounds like a really attractive uh, viewpoint right now, because if it takes longer, um, you know, obviously this market volatility can last a lot longer. But I really think you have to also think about the other side of that. A V-shape is very, very possible here. I mean, we have the mother of fiscal and monetary stimulus right now, Brian, coming into the economy. And I have to think some of that money is going to end up in the stock market. Um, we're seeing short interest right now like we did back in 2016. If you remember, 2016 was a very good year in the market. So a short squeeze here could happen. It's very, very probable. Um, and in addition to that, I think, you know, also with the magnitude being so bad, CEOs and CFOs specifically try to create the most dire picture they can right now so they can line up to beat those hurdles later. So, you know, I really think right now there's a good chance you could get a V-shaped recovery. Yeah, and I'm sure all of our viewers know the alphabet, but what you're referring to, what others are referring to, the U-shape is basically that we're here, it's going to be a slow turn, and then maybe we'll perk up. A V-shape is sort of a rapid bounce back in economic activity once some of the lockdown conditions are lifted, or hopefully we get a treatment and or a vaccine. So what does that mean, Ryan, for the stock market? Do you believe now is a good time to invest or sit back, raise cash, and wait because we're going lower? Yeah, I think you definitely be invested here um, because you can't rule out that V-shaped recovery. And I think the thing that's really important to remember right now, because the data, again, is going to keep coming in terrible. You know, there's no one's going to debate about that. But you got to remember, the market is a discounting mechanism. It's going to be ahead of the data. I mean, if you look back, the first really bad piece of economic data about the lockdown didn't really come until March 24th. The market had bottomed on March 23rd. So same thing now is markets can be discounting out as far as you know, 24 months into the future, Brian. So I think when we see all this data coming in, it's going to be very hard to be an investor right now. But I think you need to have your positions on because uh, the risk here, in my opinion, is really more to the upside. Everybody thinks there can be more downside, which there could be. But I think a melt up is probably your higher risk.